passed a bill that limited emergency powers. They've carved out for themselves the ability to um, to preempt uh, local legislative action. But the legislature believes that the government closest to the people governs best. Right? So yes. <laughs> but the biggest one lifts the statewide mask mandate on April 10th. It'll keep a mask requirement for schools and gatherings over 50 people, and does allow a mayor or local health department to ask a county council or commission to issue a new one. What if we are not in concert? What if the county council feels one way and Gary feels an opposing way? Then what? No local mask mandate. The council asked about whether cities can ask for one, and that is possible. Private businesses obviously would still be able to require one. Uh, what about public places, like this building? That's also possible. It seems the, uh, the final say, what's going to transpire, will be decided right here. The Salt Lake County Council plans to meet again on April 9th, the day before the mask mandate is lifted, to look at the latest data before deciding. There's going to be people that want to continue wearing their masks, whether there's, whether if we do not continue the mask mandate, and so I, I think people can have their free will and, and choose to wear their masks as long as they'd like and as long as they're comfortable doing that and look at the long term. President Biden has asked states to extend or issue new mask mandates as COVID-19 cases begin surging again around the country. Governor Spencer Cox's office tells Fox 13 he has no plans to do that. In Salt Lake City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. Passed by the Utah State Legislature that Ben was reporting on will also lift all public health restrictions on July 1st or sooner if cases keep declining and vaccinations go up.